Today we're going to be looking just at a nice little attacking tool that you can have under your belt when you're coaching an intermediate, maybe a, a good junior team. Uh, it's called the triangle, and it's just a formation of three players that you can use if you want to run um, basically two different plays. So it's not like a quickie. If you want to run a quickie, you can do a quickie. These are probably good to be done on play three and four. So the three and four play, and then maybe just a, a Hail Mary dummy half scoop on five. So I call it the triangle, or it is called the triangle because there is a triangle of three players. All right. Now, middles here with one link. Um, the play is either a rooster or a sweeper. Those are your two options. And those two options are based on what these middles are doing. Okay, so that's very important. So it's not like we call the tri uh, we stand in a triangle formation and go, hey, we're going to run a sweeper or we're going to run a rooster. We don't actually have to communicate with, e with each other. It's just the action that this ball carrier does. Everyone should react accordingly. Okay, and what he's got to look out for is if one middle's up, then I can pass to this middle and you can sweep. Okay, if two middle's up, if he's up here and I try and do that, I try and pass the ball to number nine here, it's a hospital pass. He's going to get slammed. He's going to get put off balance. He's not going to be able to play the ball. I'm not going to be able to get dummy half, and he's not going to be able to sweep. So if you've got one middle, this is your option. There's one middle. Bit of space for the other guy because the other middle's not with him. There's the sweeper. And he dives at the line, and that's a try. Okay? Let's have a look at another triangle. It's Parramatta against Doylson. They move into triangle shape here. Middle, middle, link in triangle. Okay, again, they're looking for whether or not there's one or two middles up. This one, it looks like Doylson would always do one. They'd set two out beyond this line here, but only one would progress further to make that touch. So there's one going a little bit further there. There's the pass. Okay, and then they try to run that sweeper. They just tried a little variation off the back of it with the dummy half running. And there is a reason for that. But for this case, there's another triangle. Link, middle, middle. Trying to get that sweeper. One guy up. But that player with the cap on reads the play. He reads the sweeper, so he tries to double touch. They shift back into triangle again. So that's the other link out there. He's not involved in this play. It's still a triangle with those three. And now we have how many middles up? We've got two middles up. Okay, so the ball carrier's job now is to drive it to the outside shoulder of the side that his triangle link is on. Now, you would run a, a um, normally run a rooster or a just an out ball or some play like that. But this link is all the way up for some reason. And it's really good from the dummy half to notify that. So there's the dump. And he goes, hey, you take on this link here because he's way offside. And he manages to score the try. But if we go back and have a look at that triangle, they want that sweeper. And you can see, actually, this middle here. Just watch him. Watch what he does. He starts pointing. Just giving him the heads up. Both middles up. And then they just dive into the line. So it's very easy. Triangle formation. You just stand in a triangle with two middles and one link. You got one middle. Sweet. Let's run a sweeper. You got two middles. All right, it's going to be a dump. It can be a rooster. It can be an out ball can be just a dummy half run if you want. Okay, if you want to be fancy, you can be an ML, but you, your triangle's got to do a lot more movements for that. But it's just basic. So you, you can run, say, a sequence can be touch one, we run a quickie. That doesn't work on touch two gets shut down. All right, touch three, we're going to get into triangle, and we're going to react to what the defense does. And on the last, we're just going to dump it, have a crack from dummy half. That can be a basic sequence for your attacking set. Thanks for watching, guys. That's really all I've got on the triangle. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. It is sort of basic and something that you can just practice a little bit at training. All right. See you next time on The Breakdown.